everyone, it's me, Bethesda. I have a story to tell you about something that happened to me just last week. Thursday, to be exact. I had gotten home late from work, was preparing my dinner, when all of a sudden I saw a black figure going whoosh, whoosh over my glasses. For a moment, I thought I was having some kind of weird migraine headache because I frequently get migraines. But I'd never experienced something black wisping across like that. I got to thinking, that's weird, and looked over. Thereupon, I've always wanted to use that word in a sentence, I realized that I had an actual live animal in my home, and it was not a bird. It was a bat! I had a bat flying in my house! Well, naturally, I freaked out, and it took me a while to compose myself. I later found out that when bats are inside, they swoop from wall to wall and dive down in the middle. And, of course, I have a vaulted ceiling in my kitchen, so we really had a lot of space to work with. Needless to say, I was standing in the middle of said kitchen, and my head was at the top of my body at the time. Which means I got to feel the flutter of wings grazing my head. It was terrifying. Finally, I went to the ER for a suspected bat bite. They shot me with so much rabies vaccine that they didn't even have enough space to put it in one buttock. That's right, everyone. I got a one arm, two buttock vaccination. Not fun. I had the exterminator come the next day. He found the bat sleeping on one of my curtains, took him away, and I don't think he hurt him because, as a friend later told me, he could be an endangered Indiana bat, uh, which I'd never heard of, but apparently is a real thing. Perhaps he'll take him on a drive back to Indiana. I don't know. I give bats a lot of credit, and we need them, but I argue that I don't need one in my house. Especially since when the exterminator came, he took pictures in my attic and showed me that there was approximately the bat poop there of six bats. I've got bat poop in my attic. He thinks the bats are coming through my soffits. Now, for those of you who don't know, a soffit is the underside of the eave of your home. And he thinks they're coming through the soffits, going up into the attic, and pooping and sleeping there. Apparently, they poop while they sleep. And then, apparently, also there is a large tube that goes from the attic down to my furnace room. One or two whooshed down there and then came out. Apparently, all a bat needs to get through a space is the width of your small finger. Or your pinky, as it's commonly known. The gentleman today came and sealed off my entire roof, also installed a one-way trap door so that bats can go out of my house if they're already in, but they certainly can't come in. I've got to clean out bat poop from the attic. One quick final note. When I told one of my coworkers about all of the bat poop in my attic, he got very excited and suggested we start our own cosmetics company since he said bat poop is found in mascara. Well, this is mascara, and that is not correct. Don't always believe your intelligent co-workers. They're not always intelligent. Ah! What's actually in mascara is called guanine, which is very different from guano, which is bet poops official words. It's not the same though. So when you put on mascara, you're not actually applying bat poop to your lashes. That would be disgusting. I hope you all stay free from bats in your home. But remember, they are valuable members of our animal kingdom, eating so many insects and nasty bugs. Okay, everyone. Bye!